Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video today. Today guys, we are going to learn about how to create interactive forms in GitHub pages. So yes guys, in last video of my GitHub pages, I was telling you about how to create a static content website using GitHub pages, how you can create your blog, your resume, free of cost using GitHub pages. Today we are going to create an interactive form with it. So I hope you guys will like this video definitely and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel guys then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. Let's get started now. So basically guys you can see that uh, right now I already created a github pages form uh, but let's go to uh, another github pages website which I created some time back. So you can see that this GitHub Pages website does not has uh, does not have anything. So what we have to do is we have to start adding a form to it. Okay. Now you can see that the form which I want is an email form. Okay. For example, if you are creating your own blog with it, you are creating your about or uh, about me website or your resume, then you may need somebody to contact you using email, right? So basically email form is the most uh, required form in this scenario. What you can do is you can create an email form free of cost using forms free. Okay. Because we all know that in an HTML form, you need a form action. So basically if I write any, uh, uh, any email message, anything, you need to press send. And once you press send, this form should actually send this information to an endpoint, right? So we need that endpoint to work for us. We need that endpoint to actually send an email for us. So we can do that using forms free. So let's me uh, open forms free.io. So guys, this is a form solution for any developer as it is written here. So what you can do is you can click on sign in. So I already have created an account. If you have not yet created an account, you have to register yourself. Then you have to click on the new form. And for example, here I can say contact form. And you have to write the emails. Uh, so basically here I'm sending emails to my email address. This is my first project. You can change the project name if you want to. This is my first project. So I'll just click on create form. Okay. Now you can see the form is actually created and by default, it gives us the form endpoint. So basically, this endpoint is going to send all the contact information for us. And not only that, they give us the uh, sample code for creating a form as well. So basically, in this sample code, they have given us few fields which are like definite needed for sending an email. For example, the first thing is email, like who sent this email to us. And then the body of the email, right? And rest of the work is done by formsfree.io. So formsfree.io is going to take the fields, uh, email address and our, and, and our message. And they are going to send an email to the email address which you configured when you created a new form. Okay. So what I need is actually just to copy this code. And now I am in my GitHub repository. And in my GitHub repository, if you remember last time we created a file called as index.md. All you have to do is edit this file. For example, let's see. In this case, I'll say contact form or contact me here. And boom. I just posted the form uh, code from the formsfree.io. And let's commit this change, guys. Once you commit this change, what's going to happen is that it is going to start deploying. And only after it is deployed, we will be able to, you know, refresh this URL again. And then we will see a form which gets created. And then we are going to test that form to see if it actually sends emails or not. Okay. But while uh, this is still building and still deploying, let me just tell you another thing, guys, that it's not just email forms which we can do in github pages okay so you can see that the code which i copied uh, in form free.io is a pretty basic code it's any html form code so you can actually create a different type of form for example you want to uh, uh, you want to add some student uh, information or library book uh, information anything you can create any form 
all you have to do is you have to give the right action url so for example in this case the forms free gives us the action endpoint to send the email you can create your own action endpoint you can create it free of cost using heroku guys you can use heroku to actually deploy your rest web services uh, you can use amplification to deploy your rest endpoints and i have done videos on both heroku and uh, i have done a video on amplification as well so do check out those videos guys if you want to create and deploy your own rest web services free of cost okay they will help you to create your own custom made forms so let's hope yes guys you can see that it is now uh, deployed so i'm just going to refresh this now and you can see that our contact form is here so for example i can do abc at gmail.com write any message hi hello and click on send okay so once i clicked on send you can see that it redirects me to a forms free thanks page saying that the form was submitted successfully obviously this is not ideal right now but it still works right because if you click on go back it will go back to your original website but first of all let's check if we actually got a form submission and there you go guys you can see that i can check in my email and i actually got an email so form free works pretty well and it's free of cost to create an email based form okay now uh, now that we have successfully created a form guys it's a uh, time to actually give this form a little bit of css to just modify a little bit so what i'm going to do is uh, the code which i used for this repository to create this form i'm just going to go in that repository and copy that code and then you will see that uh, you can actually uh, apply a lot of styles or Uh, divs or any labeling, anything you want. You can beautify your form as much as you want. So you can see that we have got a lot of styling here, borders and width and padding, etc. So I'm just going to copy this code, and I'm going to go back to my uh, superlazycoder dot github dot io repository, and we are going to paste that code here. Okay. Uh, let me go to my Correct branch index dot md and edit the file and just gonna copy paste this and click on commit. Okay, so there you go, guys. Uh, now uh, the action is again started to build and deploy. But uh, while it's building, guys, I'm going to show you the code which I just pasted. so there are a lot of information in it in this new code guys the one important thing is that i have got another input hidden type field here which is called as subject okay and the subject here says the value new query submitted so basically guys you can use these fields to enhance your email okay for example if you add a subject to it you can do name equals to subject value all of the subject if you want to add a uh, you know a carbon copy of somebody's email so for example you can you underscore cc and you can give the uh, email address like pqr@gmail.com so basically this guy will also be given a carbon copy of the email okay so uh, subject cc reply to you can have a, a bunch of fields which are associated with uh, html forms and you can use them to enhance your email experience okay Uh, but the important thing is uh, an input type hidden name equals to next why this is really important guys you can see that what happened when i clicked on uh, when i did contact me and when i clicked on send i was actually redirected to a forms free thank you page right what if i don't want to be redirected to a forms free thank you page what if i want to be redirected to my own thank you page So that's what's uh, being done here, guys. You can see that the value is a thank you URL of of a custom made website, and we actually want that once the form is submitted successfully, we should redirect to this URL, and that's what this next input type does. Okay, that's what the purpose of it. But to be honest, guys, this only works. if the value of uh, the page which you are redirected to is not https but if it is http 
okay if you have if you have got a uh, custom domain guys so for example in my case i don't have a custom domain i only have github domain so i cannot make a website with uh, without https i can only have https enabled so that's why this next input doesn't work for me but for you guys who have their own custom made made website can use the http url version to redirect to the thank you page of your own custom made okay so that's an important thing guys now i think it should be deployed because let me go and just simply re reload the page again Okay, I think it's still deploying. Oh, what's happening? Okay, yeah, so it's deployed now. And there you go. You can see, guys, that the, our contact form looks much, much better now. It has got some padding, some borders, and you can further enhance it more. So, so guys, that was a video about GitHub pages, how you can include a email form in GitHub pages, how you can include any other form, how you can make your GitHub pages more interactive. So I hope you guys like this video guys and if you did then please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you have not yet subscribed then please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for future notifications. Write down in the comment section below anything you want to say to me. Any feedback is welcome guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then take care and bye bye.